what's up in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to make a more realistic uh, HUD or HUD or kind of cockpit for any of your planes obviously this is a demo but you know it looks pretty good when you're actually in it as you can see um, but yeah let's get into it alright so first things first to note obviously I'm using signs and emojis uh, and I just want to say outright uh, this video is more of a tutorial or guide should I say and less of a tutorial right? I'm not gonna be showing you exactly what to do I'm just going to be giving you advice and, you know, a kind of help on how to make your your cockpit look, like, good. You know, like, um, something you'd see in War Thunder or DCS or something like that, or at least similar to it. Um, but yeah, let, let's, uh, let's really get into it. Alright, so obviously I'm using motor lock here, um, and I'm also using signs, uh, emojis, and the horn, uh, horn block, I guess you could say, for the actual, like, stick, um, so I'm using a, a variety of different emojis as well as just text for your um, interface up top. All right, this plane doesn't fly, but if we go out of the the mode, we can actually look into what what is the cockpit. And as you can see, that it's pretty bare. Um, a lot of this stuff comes in through motor lock, as you can see. I have the main pilot seat and the horn, and I actually have the horn uh, motor locked closer to the main pilot seat. Obviously the horn won't grip onto the main pilot seat like that, so what you have to do is you kind of have to motor lock it in, uh, connect it to the main pilot seat. It is a bit of uh, kind of an overcomplication. I'm sure you can fit it in somewhere in the bottom if you take this sign out. Um, you know, that's, that's how I did it. Um, now for the sides of the cockpit, as you can see, it's actually all, all black if we go right into this cockpit here. As you can see, the, the uh, the rim of the cockpit is all black. It gives it a more realistic feel. Um, I could have done the same thing with the floor. I just didn't really get a chance to. Um, but I'm using three different signs here, and these are actually not text like this is. These are signs with emojis, uh, and they actually are on the rim of the cockpit to give it a different color from the outside of your plane. You know, without having to use like paint blocks or you know clip different blocks in. Like this is just easier, and you can even display different dials and stuff that you could you know, potentially play around with, obviously they do nothing, but, um, you know, that you can have in, in the actual plane. Um, moving on to the, the kind of dials and stuff I was just going over, I used three or four different emojis, really, to convey that more realistic feel that you get in an actual, uh, combat simulator or something like War Thunder, or even, you know, something more realistic than playing crazy. Um, the emojis will be in the description of the video. Not exactly the, the templates I used, but just kind of the, the six or seven or four different emojis. Um, and what I did was I actually sized them down, and you actually want to put a space in between each emoji so that you can kind of break easily instead of having them clip off the sign. Um, here, I to make it so that there's a blank space here and then emojis on the other end, I put uh, kind of spaces before I place my icons. Uh, and then same thing here, but on the other side. Um, you know, I even use this slider emoji to kind of show like a throttle, even though I know it is on the wrong side, but, you know, I tried to do that. Um, and yeah, that, that's pretty much it, like for the, the dials and stuff that I used. Obviously now with my cockpit, I used trap doors instead of glass blocks, because when you have glass blocks down and your, your head is clipped into a glass block through motor locking, uh, you actually cannot see signs or really text on signs, so, you know, it's pretty important not to have your head clipped into anything, um, you know, when, when your motor lock completes. Um, and then for my, whatever you call the, the green thing in this plane, I use just regular text, um, it's not that hard to do, really, there's like 10 dashes here, and then a space, and then 10 dashes, space, 10 dashes, space. Uh, and then you can just resize the text until it breaks nicely like this. And then I actually have a second text in here that's clipping with those dashes. That is my kind of um, reader that you'd normally see in a normal plane. You know, I'm not great with terminology in terms of plane stuff, so I'm not really sure what that's called, but yeah. And to see this in action in one of my actual planes that I use, uh, this is my F-14, obviously it's not quite done yet, but I do have that same sort of cockpit design. Uh, as you can see here, when I start the plane, and it is a bit a bit of a complicated plane, so keep, bear that in mind. Um, you can actually see that oh, stuff doesn't glitch out. I do have a full-on cockpit in here. You know, it's very crowded because I have a ton of other stuff going on throughout this plane um, to give it a more smooth look. Uh, obviously, it's not quite done yet. 
Um, but yeah, I still have the same base design. You know, I have the dials. I have the dials in the front with one sign. I have the one by three signs on each side. And I actually, in this side, instead of using two or just one one by three, I split it into two signs so that I can have a separate throttle orientated the other way so that it kind of looks more like something that you could really touch. Um, and obviously, I'm still missing the the green part but if we start flying this plane here as you can see kind of flying around in this plane I have this full cockpit view of stuff you know you can even clip a camera in instead of having your head so that you're not upside down when the plane is not um but yeah that that's pretty much the you know the base idea of having a nice cockpit obviously you're gonna want to have some trails but that's pretty simple I'd say um for the kind of reinforcement rings around that that cockpit uh, and it overall just looks nicer and more, I'd say, realistic than your typical plane crazy plane experience. Like, this actually feels like you're kind of in a dive and that you have to pull up uh, and whatnot. But yeah, that's pretty much how to make a, you know, a fully realistic cockpit in plane crazy. Um, obviously, it, it's a bit overcomplicated and it's not quite super simple, but, you know, you get the base idea here. here this is just a concept um, that I have. Uh, and yeah, thank you for watching this video. If you did enjoy, just, you know, you know what to do. Uh, anyways, I'll see you later. So, uh, yeah, go look at my other videos and I'll, yeah, see ya. Bye.